Hey guys, in this video we will be looking at date objects in JavaScript. Now using date objects you can uh, display and manipulate date and time in JavaScript basically. Okay, let's start off with a really simple one. Uh, let's create a variable and let's call it, uh, let's say, yeah, let's call it date equals new and all we're going to write is date and that's just the simple date object and let's uh, document dot write and display it uh, date and that's it let's save our work and refresh and see what happens let's make it a bit bigger like so now what that does is it actually displays all the date and time information uh, of, where, of when you refreshed your browser so it's currently Thursday March the 14th 2013 uh, it's 12 a.m. on the 29th minute and 6 second when I refreshed it GMT local time and when I refresh it again if you look over here and I'm 06 it's going to turn into 35 because the current second time or current time in seconds is 35, 41, 43 and so on okay the second thing we're going to be looking at is uh, displaying how to display just the year Okay, so we've got a var date equals new date, and we are going to uh, do something with or use a method to this date object. So let's create var x because it doesn't really matter. Equals, oops, equals date dot get full year, and what that does, it actually gets the year from the date objects and it's going to display it so I'll change this document right to X because that's a variable name for here and refresh my browser oops okay my typical stupid error the year was not in capital letters because JavaScript is case sensitive I need to make sure that the get for years F and Y is in capital letters so uh, sorry, about, uh, sorry about that, let's save our work, refresh again, and there we go, we have 2013. The next thing we're going to be looking at, uh, uh, the next thing we're going to be looking at is, uh, what should we look at? Okay, uh, this is going to be something weird now. Let's delete this, because we're going to be doing a different one, and we're going to be displaying the time uh, your current time in JavaScript, not the date, just the time. So var x equals uh, date dot get time, and the result is going to be interesting. We have this weird bunch of numbers, and if we refresh it, it actually goes up. It's constantly going up, like so: one, ten, hundred thousand, ten thousand, one hundred thousand, million, ten million, one hundred million, billion. 10 billion, 100 billion, a trillion, a trillion, 363 billion, 221 million, 92,625, I think, if I'm not wrong. Now, what this is, is basically, it's the number of milliseconds that has have passed since January the 1st, 1970. Okay, did you get that? So, what that is, it's, uh the number of milliseconds uh, passed or passed since uh, midnight so 12 a.m. Uh, Jan the first midnight Jan the first in 1970 is and plus hopefully that makes it more clear Yep. So the number of milliseconds passed, passed, passed. De, okay. Since midnight Jan the first, nineteen seventy, is this number. So it displays in milliseconds the number of milliseconds that has passed for counting nineteen seventy Jan the first at midnight. Now, don't ask me why it's January the first, nineteen seventy. Uh, if you're really interested, you can Google it and find out. But I'm not too interested in this all I as long as I know how to use it I'm actually quite happy with it 
Okay, and in my next video, we are going to be using uh, manipulating data objects as well as these ones so that it actually displays the time uh, that actually makes more sense to the human eyes and the mind. And we'll be playing around with some data objects, uh, methods and properties and data objects as well.